everyone you are welcome to this channel excel tutorial with olani Yi. and my name is olani shufuwa and we shall be doing this tutorial together in one of my videos we discuss the sequence function and how we can use that function to generate a series of numbers how that sequence function can make life easier for us especially when we have a long list of numbers like 100 rows of 1000 rows and we want to generate a serial number or, or want to fill up the series of numbers for that particular list if you have not watched that video please check the video that i pinned in the info card please watch the video and learn how to use the sequence function we also stated in that video that this sequence function is only available for those of us that use Excel 365 and Excel 2001 version. What that means is that some of us that use Excel 2019 and below, the Excel function is not available in our version of Excel. However, all hope is not lost because today's tutorial session is to show us how we can perform that same task with our version of Excel. If you are ready, I am ready. Let's go. As stated earlier, for some of us that use Excel 2019 and below, and we want to fill up a series of numbers, there are two solutions and two ways that Excel has provided for us to use, and which is also easier and faster to use. So, what do we mean by this? If you want to fill up, uh, if you want to fill up a series of number. It's either the easier approach is to type it out like this one by one. But imagine if you have a row, if you have 100 rows of, or 1000 rows, typing out one number one by one can be very stressful, boring, uh, boring, and much taxing for us. That is why Excel provided a solution for us to use. And the first solution is thus. The first thing that we need to do is we put in the first number into the uh, we put in the first number and when we put our cursor on the first uh, inside the first cell a1 where we where we have the first task number as one and which there is a small icon at the tip of the cell if i hover my cursor on the tip the cursor changes if i take my cursor away from it it changes also to the plus sign but if I put my cursor on the on that T, it changes to a dark uh, to, to a dark plus sign. So so putting so you place your cursor on that T and you drag it to the number of rows that you want. And we have this another icon down here, which is known as the autofill option. So this uh, this icon we select. We are going to select the uh, we are going to select this icon. The first thing is that we saw the copy cells. If you click the copy cells, what, uh, what it's going to do for us is that it's going to copy exactly what we write into the first cell. And that is why we have the one written all through. But if we copy, if we, if we select the field series, as you can see, the field series will change it to our series, to our serial number one to 20. That is the first approach. Even if we have, uh, even if we have 100 rows, what we only need is uh, we place our cursor on the T, we drag it down to the 100 row, we drag it down to the 100 row. By the time we release it, I will select the autofill option. When we do, we will select the field series of our serial number up to 100 is generated as thus. I'm very sure that you can see that this is very easy for us to do. Another way of filling the series is also when we put in the first number, place and when we place our cursor on the first cell, then we go at home, then we go to the edit to the edit uh, to the edit section, select the field tab. Under the field tab, when we under the field tab, there is a series uh, option, field series. Uh, we will select the field series since we are dealing with columns column a we change our series in to columns if we want the series to be filled horizontally then we'll maintain the rules but since we want the series to be filled vertically then we select the columns 
then uh that was the value we want the number to be to generate one two three four to twenty so we use our step value as one and we want it to stop as number twenty we press ok and our series is generated up to twenty uh, if we want to check it for one hundred value we select the series function we select the series option we change the series into columns and we select one hundred and easy our 100 our serial number is generated up to 100 so another example that i would like to show us is if we start the series we want to we want to have uh, a set of uh, even serial number two four six eight so we also start with uh, we start with two if we, if we start our if we, if we start with two we want to generate a set of uh, even number we start with two we check uh, we select our series uh, option so in this case uh the step value will change with our series is column in this case the step value will be changed from one to two because we want it to be a multiple of two then the stop value we, uh, we, we want it to stop at number 15. okay as you can see, our uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is generated. Very easy and straightforward to use. Um, the third option is if we don't want to select, uh, we don't want to go to the main tab, also another approach for us to do is to put right in the first, the start value, and we press on our keyboard, we press Alt H F I S that will bring up our series uh, our series option. Then we we'll select columns. We we'll select columns. Our step we want our step our step of three. I want it to stop at I want it to stop at um, forty five. I want the stop value to be forty five. Okay. Uh, using the step of three, one, four, seven, we we're able to generate our number. From the above explanation, I believe you now understand how to fill up a series of number or generate serial or sequence number for your list. And you can use any of the explained method in any version of Microsoft Excel. So now let's look at an example. If we have, in this example, we have a list of names, a list of uh, 31 names. So what, and we want to generate the serial number for this list. As we explained earlier on, once we put the first, uh, the first number, which is the start value in the, uh, into the, in, you know, we put in the start value, and we, uh, and we we'll press on our keyboard Alt H F I S to bring up our series function, or fill in the series option. We check the rows. The step value is one, and since since our list of fruit is 31, we put in the 31 as top value and easy. Our serial number is generated very, very easy. Also, in, last, in our last example, in this case, we have a list of fruit of, of 20 rows. The list of, of 20 rows, then the, uh, what, we call, what we need to do is we put in the start value as one. Then it's either we use, it's either we press the shortcut on our keyboard or F H I S, or we go to the fill uh, option, our main tab. We select the, we select uh, the fillings series option. Then uh, the, our, we change the series in is to its columns. Now our stop value is 20. It's here. And we can see that our serial number is generated. This marks the end of today's tutorial session. And I believe you have now fully understand how to fill up or generate sequence number for your list, irrespective of the number of rows. If you are using Office 365 or 2021, you can either use this method or you use the sequence function to perform these tasks. But if your version of Office is 2019 or below, kindly refer to the method explained in this video. Thank you for watching this video. I believe that you enjoyed this video and have learned something. Please give us a like and let us know via the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel.
to see more of our videos and put on the notification bell so that you will be aware when we're about to start the next tutorial class. Don't understand or you are finding it difficult to use, kindly put it in the comment section below and we shall look at it together. Thank you and see you in the next class. Thank you.